Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Samantha, and I'm back with another Cricut tutorial, Cricut Design Space tutorial. Okay, so before I go ahead and tell you guys what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like this video even before you watch it. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be learning how to use the slice function at the bottom right corner of our um, design space. I don't know if it's on the same um, side as yours, but on mine, it's on the bottom right corner. Okay, so we're gonna be learning how to put words inside of your image, like place words in your image, like on your image, so it's flat down. So that's the start by using the slice function. So as you can see, um, I have an example on my screen and this is what we're going to be doing today. So this one I already did. So I'm just going to delete this and then we're going to start over and show you how I did it. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to delete that. First we're going to do is uh, we're going to start the clean canvas in our design space. Then we're going to go to upload. And I'm gonna choose from my images in my uh, library. So I'm gonna choose this lady right here. I mean, I'm just gonna click on her, sorry. And then I'm gonna add her to my canvas. Then I'm just gonna click on this button, this arrow at the side right here, this at the right corner. I'm just gonna drag it in to make it smaller so it fits my screen so I can see what I'm working with. Okay, so that is good. So guys, so we're going to be working with this lady and now we're going to go to text and we're going to write, we're going to be doing fate over fear. So we're going to write fate. We're just using the standard Cricut Sans font. Okay, so we're going to do that. Then we're gonna go again. We're just gonna write all the words that we need at once. So we're just gonna, um, okay, let's do that again. Fade over. We're just gonna write them and leave them at the side here until we're ready for them. Sex, fear. Okay, let's start this right here. Okay, let's bring her over a little bit more. Okay, guys, so first we're gonna make this smaller a little bit. You can unlock it from the side using this lock at the bottom left corner. Just make it a little bit smaller. Then we're gonna drag it over to our mannequin. We're gonna leave it right there and I just wanna turn it a little bit to make it a little bit more stylish. A little fancy. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I think I'm okay with that. Move it down a little bit. And guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to drag our cursor from the top and drag it over all the image. And then we're going to press, we're going to click on slice, which is at the bottom right corner, right beside um, flatten, attach, and weld. So it's right there, slice. So we're gonna slice that. Then we're gonna take out this part. Right now, we don't need this anymore. So we're gonna take that out. This is really cool, guys. So we're just gonna take that out. And the faith is in there. That looks nice already. Okay, guys, this is such a cool feature. Such a cool feature. Um, okay, so we're gonna do over. We're gonna unlock it again at the side, and then we're just gonna drag it in, make it a little bit smaller. Then we're gonna grab it, drag it over to our our mannequin head. Okay, so as you can see, that is blended in blended in with the color so we can't really see it if we want to tweak it turn it or resize or anything so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to arrange and we're going to move it forward move it forward 
So there we have it. It's moved forward. We're just gonna actually make this. I'm gonna make this one like that. And then we're gonna select everything again. And we're gonna press, we're gonna click on slice. Again, guys, this is out. We don't need this, so we're just gonna delete that. Just gonna move this over and delete that one. We don't need that either, because it's already in your hair. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so now we're gonna do fear. Gonna unlock it again, and we're gonna just gonna make it a smaller, make it smaller, bring it over, and again we're gonna go up to a range, and we're gonna bring it forward. Then also right there you can make it smaller, or bigger if you want while it's on there before you slice it, because once you slice it, you can't do anything else to it again. So you have to make sure it is how you want it. So we're just going to curve that a little bit. And then we're just going to select it. And then we're going to slice it. Then we're going to delete that. We're going to move this over. And we're going to delete that because we don't need it anymore. And there you have it, guys. It's over here. This is beautiful, guys. It's so easy. And um, before I learned this, um, I did not know it was so easy. I watched a few videos and I learned a few things. And then I'm coming back to tell you guys about it. So I really like this. This is such a neat design. There's so much things you can do with it. So, yeah. So let me know what you think. And uh, I hope this was really straightforward for you. And I hope you will take this and make some bomb design and make some money from it. I'm going to try and do the same. So thank you guys. Please like, share, comment, and please subscribe to my videos. And I will be posting some more um, cricket tips and easy step-by-step -step tutorials. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.